Christianity in Britain can be traced back to the ancient past. British churches have shaped world history and brought the Christian faith through missions and evangelism to much of the globe. Today, in the 21st century, that extraordinary Christian heritage and history are being threatened with extinction. Declining church attendance has reached alarming proportions, and some experts predict that Christian life in Britain will be dead within the next 40 years. Church buildings are being abandoned and made redundant as attendance continues to fall, especially in the larger towns and cities. Property speculators are turning churches into restaurants, nightclubs, gyms, and apartments, or tearing the buildings down altogether. In some areas with large ethnic populations, churches are even being converted into mosques or Hindu and Sikh temples. The blessing of the Lord and His mercy be on you through His grace and love of mankind always, now, and ever, and through the ages of ages. Confronting this crisis to Britain's long and rich Christian heritage, the St. Stephen the Great Trust has taken a bold initiative to rescue and restore some of these key churches, to provide biblically-based literature and teaching materials, and to reach a new generation of Britain's 60 million people with Orthodox Christianity that has stood the test of time and stood firm in the faith against generations of trends, heresies, and disillusion with failing and oftentimes unbiblical teachings. And to thee, consecrated and bloody sacrifices, who also has graciously been pleased to found this temple. In just three years since its founding, St. Stephen the Great Trust has acquired a network of 25 Christian bookshops in key towns and cities and is actively involved in identifying and rescuing church properties that face destruction or defilement by being turned into secular businesses. The first acquisition of the Trust was an unused former Anglican parish church in Poole, Dorset. This treasured Victorian structure was restored and consecrated into the Orthodox faith in August 2007. The second major project of the Trust is a lovely old Victorian church in the city of Bradford. Known as St. Mary Magdalene, the abandoned building would most likely have become an Islamic center, as it's only two blocks from what is already the second largest mosque in Europe, serving Bradford's population of more than 16% Muslim. Now, thanks to the diligent work of the St. Stephen the Great Trust, the church will be repaired and consecrated into the Orthodox Christian community. I'm Mark Brewer, chairman of the St. Stephen the Great Charitable Trust. Who was St. Stephen the Great? He was a man who lived in the 15th century, who fought some 47 battles against the Muslim Turks who were invading Eastern Europe at that time. During his lifetime, after every battle, he commemorated a church, built a new church to the glory of God throughout Eastern Romania. He restored churches that had been destroyed by the Ottoman Turks. He is therefore a very fitting patron saint for this trust. We want to aspire to do the very same thing that St. Stephen did we want to rescue, restore, and re-energize the churches of this great country to the glory of God and to the salvation of the people. Another rescue mission of the Trust is in the city of Gateshead near Newcastle upon Tyne. The Romanesque style former Anglican church structure was begun in 1845 and still retains its magnificent stained glass windows. Yet it was allowed to go without repair until it reached such a state of decay that authorities would order it to be torn down. The only occupants of this once vibrant worship center are nesting pigeons who have found entrance through collapsed roof beams. This is just one tragedy of the loss of faith and the floundering of British churches that have diverged from the clear teachings of the Bible. Today, many worshipers have dropped away, disillusioned from attending churches that no longer give them a grounding and understanding of the gospel of Jesus. Many more people are simply searching for spiritual answers and a sense of hope.
St. Stephen the Great Trust is doing what it can to save places of holy worship. The forefathers of today's generation once gave sacrificially to build these beautiful monuments to the glory of God. So what can you do to bring restoration and hope to the lost and seeking people of Britain who once evangelized the world? By making a donation to the St. Stephen the Great Trust, you're helping to rescue and restore the ancient Christian heritage of the British Isles. May the Lord remember the blessed and ever-remembered founders, the members, supporters, and benefactors of this holy place in His kingdom. I hope you've been inspired by what you've seen in the last few minutes, and that you'll join us now in this noble effort to save the churches of Britain, to restore the churches and re-energize the Christian life in this great country. As a token of our appreciation for any gift that you'll make today, I'd like to send you this beautiful new gift card, which you can use to make purchases at over two dozen Christian bookshops throughout the UK.